Siouxland, make some noise for KCAU 9 Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at all the local sports action begins now. We're the Kingsley Pearson Panther cheerleaders. You're watching Sports Zone, and the highlights start now. Good evening, everyone, and welcome into the KC9 Sports Zone. I'm Anthony Mitchell, alongside with the guy who probably doesn't need an introduction, Rock'em Sock'em, Noah Sacco. Hey, folks, week one was great, but week two going to be even better, and we've got plenty in store for you tonight. Top matchups, big plays, and, of course, that top stop and player of the week awards. But first, we're going to start things off with our game of the week, and it's a clash of Panther Kingsley Pearson. River Valley playing host to one of their toughest foes of the season, number nine, Logan Magnolia, a battle between one of Class A's best quarterbacks in Bo Goodwin, the state's top-ranked player for the Class of 2024 and lineman, Grant Brinks. Goodwin with over 300 offensive yards, three TDs, and three picks from a huge week one. Bricks, a four-star recruit with over 20 D1 offers. KP, they're ready for the test. So is Logan Magnolia at the goal line on their opening drive. Calvin Collins rumbles in for the touchdown. Two-point conversion, no good. 6-0, Logan Magnolia. Panthers weren't satisfied there. Four minutes later, William Anderson with space on the outside. No one's catching him. Another rushing score for Loma. KP down early, 14-zip for the black and gold. Finding some life, ensuing drive. Bo Goodwin, shifty footwork to get outside of the pocket. Breaks a tackle. He's got daylight, and he is in rushing TD. It's KP on the board, 14-6, but Logan kept Magnolia kept finding new ways to score here in this one. Caleb Cole with a wide-open Carson Edney in stride in the second quarter, shedding that last line of defense. Goodbye. An even stronger second half, KP River Valley falls 42-12 the final. What a way to start the night there. Absolutely. But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action as we hop up to Dutch Country in Orange City. Central Lion George Little Rock aims to continue their two-way state title defense, locking horns with MOC Floyd Valley. Dutch aiming for its first series win since 2017, but the Lions haven't lost a game since November of 2021. Let's take to the first quarter. The Dutchmen starting with the ball, but the Lions with the score on their first possession, courtesy of Reese Van Der Zee to Drew Denicus in the end zone, making it look easy. They take the 6-0 lead. CLGLR wanting more, but MOC Floyd Valley's defense comes up with a big stop. Dominic Schmitz snatches the fumble, getting the Dutch on offense, but MOC would fumble the ball right back to the Lions. What a turn of events. Second quarter now, CLGLR on offense. Van Der Zee scrambling, only to find Reed Falkins open for the catch. Isaiah Johnson going to get the two-point conversion. As Lions win big, 42-7 the final. Now to Lawton Bronson going up against West Lyon. Wildcats have won every meeting since 2008. Eagles here aiming to flip the script on the road. First quarter, Brayton Heist throws right. Connects with Loudon Grimsley who runs it in for the score. LB going up six zip. A few minutes later, the Wildcats, they'd have a big answer. Bryson Childress rolling left, throwing deep down the field. That's Carson Hoagie even who strolls in for the easy touchdown. West Lyon tying the game here at home and suing kickoff. LB goes to retrieve it. This one bobbled by Dominic Smith along Lane Stokely to recover the fumble. A big play there by the Wildcats special teams. They take over, turning that quickly into points. Jackson Heuser gets the rock, rumbles up the middle, breaks a touchdown, and scores the TD. West Lyon wins at 53-12, giving head coach Jay Roseboom his 300th career win. Moving into the Metro, SBL has won five of their last six meetings. East looking to get win number one on the season. Cal Jepson in the pocket, letting it fly to Richard Stewart on the far sideline for the big game. Black Raiders unable to find the end zone on that drive, though. Warriors now with a chance to score that first TD of the game. Xavion Ellington gets the handoff and cuts inside. He's got room to operate. The SBL running back taking it all the way into the end zone with about four defenders behind him. Look at those moves. SBL would settle for the field goal here, taking the 3-0 lead. Soon after, though, East would go on the move. It is Jepson dropping back soon after, and he's going to want to go for this deep ball here, and it'd be a jump ball, and eventually intercepted by Kellen Benson. That would lead it to SBL marching down the field, capped off by a diving TD catch from Scott Dixon. SBL would lead going into the half, but East wins it 27-10. More Metro Madness this time. South Sioux City staying at the new nest, taking on West High. SSC up big in the second quarter. Wolverines, though, on the move. Jason Joseph takes a handoff from Sincere Douglas for a nice gain. Wolverines churning out the yards. Cardinals, their turn on offense. Tony Palmer running into the West defense, but 
He does not go down, keeping his balance and reversing the field. With just a couple of defenders to beat. He cuts back inside, tiptoeing down that sideline. Oh my goodness. And it's Tony to the house. Potential sports zone top five playing a high five there as well. What a play. Next drive. Same result this time. Helms connecting on the deep ball to Tate Albertson. Albertson reservations for six. That's a touchdown. South Sioux City. This one's still in progress. They're up big. Looking to go 2 0. Up in the ice cream capital of the world, our Sports Zone Week 1 Player of the Week team, Kaisel, taking on DeMarco Young and Sioux City North. We're picking things up in the second half. Bulldogs with possession, play drawn so well, the camera gets juked out. Bo Wadley with a full head of steam for the touchdown. Really, it extends 28 7. Bo feeling himself on the Bulldogs' next possession, dodging tackles left and right for a 40 yard return. Look at those moves. Sheesh. Same possession, Kesa with time. He's gonna pick out Wadley yet again for the touchdown with less than a minute left in the third. Bo would be down for some time with a groin injury. Thankfully, dogs are celebrating in the end. They win it 38-14. Up next pair of 1-0 teams square off from Council Bluffs as Bishop Elon takes on CB Lincoln. Crusaders coming off a big time win in week one. Fast forward to the second quarter. This one all Bishop Elon. Max Delaney finds the gap. He is off to the races. This one a 58-yard touchdown. Giving the Crusaders, how about this, a 43 to nothing lead. Just before halftime, Bishop Heelan certainly bringing its A game on the road. Crusaders also making plays on defense. Max Delaney delivers the hit to keep the Lynx at bay. Bishop Heelan improves to 2-0 with the 57-13 victory. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere just yet. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Plus, who's going to bring home our top stop and player of the week award? Some great candidates in our remaining games stay in the zone. We are the MLC Floyd Valley cheerleaders. Don't you dare change that channel. Sports Zone will be right back. Woo!